and welcome back to my channel. So before I get into some other things that I want to do here, um, like product reviews, uh, things like that, maybe some lifestyle vlogs, I haven't really decided yet. Before I get started with any of that, um, I just wanted to come on and show you guys how I generally do my hair, um, techniques I use, products, things like that, just my general routine. Um, I did film all of this earlier, so this is actually, um, the you're going to see is actually earlier today. Right now, this is the night. And my hair is still pretty wet. Um, I have little prosody hair, so it takes forever to dry. Uh, the roots are what's really damp. The ends are all pretty much good. Um, but without further ado, let's just get into it. So this little brush that I'm using here is actually something that I have never used before. I literally just picked it up this day. It's a little shampoo brush. It was maybe a dollar fifty, and oh my god, like this thing is actually really good. Like I really like it, and I look forward to using it a lot. I mean, it doesn't hurt that the shampoo that I'm using, um, this little shampoo bar by Shea Moisture. Um, from the Manuka Honey, Manuka, there's a whole line for it, Manuka and Mafira oil line, I think. Yeah, the little shampoo bar, it just has so much slip that pretty much anything would detangle my hair, but the way that this shampoo brush is doing it is doing a great job. I didn't actually use it too much to actually scrub my scalp because that just sounds like it's going to tangle my roots and that is a tangle job no one wants to do no one wants to have to detangle all the roots just it's a no for me with the how those shampoo rush how they're always just scrubbing their scalp with it i can't do it so um yeah but this has so much slip um the shampoo does along with this detangling brush shampoo brush was amazing I'm just gonna go in and make sure that the shampoo is really in there. Uh, make sure I have enough on. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse my hair and please do not mind the faces that I'm making. I was not thinking about it <laughs> when I was making this obviously but I was not aware of the faces that I was making I I look like I look like I'm drowning yeah <laughs> I really just can't stop looking at this. this is so funny I'm literally like spitting out the water it's going everywhere this looks so tragic like I really <laughs> I look like I'm drowning So here I'm just going in with my deep conditioner and um, I'm just smoothing everything through with the shampoo brush, um, making sure that everything is coated from root to tip.
Okay, so I am back at the shower. Um, so my hair, I've just kind of twisted it up. I'm gonna go ahead and just jump into how I do my wash and goes. This is just standard. So what I usually do is I go in with a leave-in and today I'm gonna be using the Kiki Curly Not Today leave-in. I'm gonna be using um, Wetline Extreme Gel, re-wetting my hair with this continuous spray bottle. So yep, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just hop off the mic here and just kind of um, go ahead and get started with my routines. So I first start by unraveling my twist. I would reset the, re-wet the section again with my spray bottle if I needed to, but my hair here is still pretty wet. So I'm just gonna go in with the leave-in. I am very heavy-handed with all our products, just a warning. As I'm applying the leave-in, I always make sure the product is distributed from root to tip evenly throughout the section. I do this by splitting the sections and smoothing the product down through each part. And then from there, um, I would just go in with my gel to smooth out any, um, any tangles. And then from there, I'll just begin to shingle. So I'll let you guys watch. So here I begin to shingle my hair. Now with shingling, you don't want the sections to be too big. If you're anything like me, you know what it's like to play in your curls all day and create frizzy pieces. So by making the shingle smaller, me personally, I'm able to avoid um, the urge to pull the curls apart as my day goes on. And this is just something I do. I don't know if I just need, need something to do with my hands or what, but I play in my hair a lot. So um, yeah, you can shingle in larger pieces if you're, you know, if that's the intent. Um, if you're gonna separate them at a later point, I've seen that, just shingle in huge sections and then split them apart. If that's the look that you're going for, it always will depend on that and volume as well. Personally, I like my wash and go to look fine and full but I don't mind the frizz as the day goes on. But yeah, so this is basically how I'm gonna do my entire head. Um, I repeat the same process and I'll just let you guys look and then I will check back in.
how I styled it. I did um, say it was going to go off camera, but towards I got to the front, I thought I would show you guys how I kind of style it in the front. I might go through and, you know, shingle some more because there are some pieces that I think are a little bit too chunky. Like that one right there. Okay. But now I am going to um, do my do my edges. So how I do them is I use this. This is the Eben 24 Hour Edge Tamer Ultra Super Hold. And let me see if it'll actually do it. There we go. Okay. So that's what I use. And a little bit I usually use maybe that much. And just do it along where I typically have more um, hair that will not cooperate with wet line and also just for a sleeker look I'm gonna put some more And I always just put it on first before I actually um, go through and brush it and style it like how I like. And this is just how I do my edges. Um, there are some very skilled edge wizards out there and I am not an edge wizard. I am a basic <laughs> person <laughs> who just likes to have smooth with edges and this is just a random and I can already tell that this little piece right here is gonna fly up in a couple of a couple of minutes or so so I'm just gonna go put some more on this part of my hair little little baby hair swoops and this part of my hair I really don't really care about this sounds really really bad but when it comes to styling, um, like, this part of my I don't really concern myself with. Um, my hair is pretty flat right here anyway, so it's gonna lay down. And if it doesn't lay down, it just kind of does little smaller curls, which don't really bother me. But, um, yeah, this is... Oh, I don't know what that is. Smooth that out. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and, um, maybe blow dry my hair. I might just let it dry. Um, might just let it air dry, might blow dry it, who knows, but, um, I'll get back with you guys, um, the second it's all dry and, um, let you guys see how my normal washing go turns out. Hello, so I'm back and my hair is fully dry. Um, I, this is the next day, so it did take me about a full day for everything to dry. So it's dry and, um... I mm, it's dry and when I slept on it um I put my hair back in like a bun so when I took it out like the front part was just kind of flat from me you know it being pushed back and then me sleeping on it so I just spritzed it with the same um rice water and um what's well, actually rice water and green tea that I kind of like lit for a minute in there but um that's what i used on my hair to kind of get my curls to wake up again and they look good you know they're shiny um didn't lose any definition really um as far now the kiki curly not today is something that i have not used too often i've had it for maybe two weeks now so and um i didn't really i used it one time and then I went back to my um, Rian Pure leave-in that I love. So I went back to that and I was like, okay, well, you know, I'm going to do, you know, a wash and go. Everybody raves about it. I'm just going to give it a try again um, with it. And I think that, I think that it turned out, it turned out good. I'll kind of um, give a full, you know, 360 look at it and whatnot. So... It's definitely still, you know, it definitely still gave definition. I don't notice anything weird about the hold with the, um, with the wet line. The wet line is amazing. I mean, edges are still intact and 
um, front part. It's nice and smooth. Yeah, I don't really have any complaints. Um, so this is just generally how my wash and goes look. I just, you know, um, wash my hair, do uh, deep conditioner. The rice water is kind of, I want to say, a temporary incorporation into my routine. So it's not necessarily something that's permanent or fixed or something that I do to get my hair to look like this like every single time just something that I'm trying out. I like it so far. It might become permanent. I think that it will honestly. I if I do, um, I think that I might end up sticking with this. But um, yeah, that's it. Um, so hope you guys liked watching. Um, subscribe for more and thank you.